Hey, Planeswalkers, hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome, my friends, to today's episode of Top Deck. Where we're breaking things down with a Rakdos Vampires deck here um, in standard. So this is a very, very popular archetype. I've um, been waiting for the right mix. This one's great. It's about a 60% win rate um, on untapped. So looking forward to diving into it here today. Um, I'm piloted by me. So uh, appreciate you tuning in. Flip me a like on top of that. Feel free to sub um, subscribe, smash that button if you have a question if you got a comment let me know down below feel free to hop in the discord server that is in the details along with today's deck list the timestamps for the video um, where i will break down strategy objective this list you're boarding for best of three we'll play that competitive magic here in both best of one and best of three my friends <clears throat> and then do a little bit of retrospective on today's episode and where this might sit um, in the current meta. So with that, uh, appreciate you tuning in once again, great ways to stay up to date on all things on the channel. Thank you to all the YouTube members um, and patrons that do a little bit above and beyond. So thank you so much. And uh, let's get cruising here on Rock Those Vampires. Um, so what do we have going on in this deck? Well, Vampires, it's a tribal deck. This one is fast, it's furious. You're playing on curve, uh, runs well as a, a nice aggro, but you also got some good stuff here towards the top end um, that really allows your deck to excel and close out the match uh, more in that mid-range kind of battle uh, type standard so um, here are a lot of the vampire cards that we got going on um, and each of the big pieces here to uh, do something and we'll come back and talk about each of these here so um, Valentine is still a pullover um, from Strixhaven, so this guy's got Menace and Lifelink. Um, Valkenrath, Pit Fighter's great, but the other big thing about this is if a creature opponent controls would die, exile it instead, um, which is really nice. And when you do, we may pay two and create a 1-1 one, one black uh, and green pest token. We got Pit Fighter here where we can discard a card, sacrifice a vampire, draw two cards, and we can activate this if opponent lost life. Um, a great way to get cards back in our hand. We got Play With Fire to get some scry if we go direct to the face. Um, otherwise, helps us remove uh, creatures. We got this guy dealing one damage each creature or reach each opponent and then uh, creating a blood token when it comes in. Um, Infernal Grass, which will be a reoccurring theme always in Vampires. Infernal Grass, Clear Lanes. Boulderin, a blood caster. So this thing's interesting. It's a two drop um, with flying. Whenever um, this guy or another non-creature token we control dies, create a blood token whenever you create one. Um, if you control five or more, transform caster here. Flying at the beginning of combat on our turn, up to one target blood token you control becomes a 2-2 bat creature with flying and haste in addition to its other types. Um, we also got blood tith harvester here, vampire socialite, um, giving us some additional uh, blood tokens, tap, remove stuff off the board. Um, vampire Socialite, when this enters the battlefield, if an opponent lost life, this turn put a plus one, plus one counter on each other vampire we control. Um, and then as long as an opponent lost life this turn, each other vampire we control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one. We got Florian. This guy's got first strike at the beginning of our post-combat main phase. We look at the top X cards of our library. X is the total amount of life. The opponents lost this turn, exile one of those, put the rest in the bottom of our library. We may play that this turn. So again, card advantage here with this guy, this guy, um, which is really nice. We got good old Agadims coming back. We got Blood Mile Purveyor, um, this guy, Whenever our opponents create uh, casts, we're creating a lovely blood token. This guy's getting plus one, plus zero for that. Um, Henrika here is great. Uh, it's got flying. Each player sac sacrifices a creature. We draw a card, we lose one life, or we transform this and get a nice three, four flying death touch lifelinker. And on top of that, each creature we control with flying death touch and her lifelink gets plus one, plus zero uh, till end of turn. Um, good old Soren Mirthless, a beautiful planeswalker here. Um, does a lot of things, mainly two, three black vampires. Um, flying token lifelink we can look at the top card of our library play that or reveal it um, into our hand lose life uh, given that mana value and then minus 7 to deal 13 and gain 13 so 26 point swing um, then we've got Anji here uh, so whenever this and or another vampire enters battlefield create a blood token uh, this ability triggers one sheet's turn and we can sacrifice one and drain for two for pain for two um, we got our good man lands as I still like to call them um, and then everything else that we need here um, within our vampire deck to support Rakdos so um, again, strategy objective of this list, go fast, go furious, blood tokens is um, definitely the name of the game here um, and this one as well. So let's go ahead and move over to the sideboard um, for best three. Three ways to break this down, aggro, mid-range, late game. Aggro decks are going to be your, be your mono-white 
uh, mono white aggro. We got mono green aggro. We also got vampires. Um, you might run into zombies, uh, mono black or uh, dimmer as well. Those kind of start to bridge to mid range. Um, here, uh, and you can run into John versions of aggro as well. Um, here are things like power word kill, uh, potentially inscription of rune. Um, and Gift of Fangs can all be good ones. Um, Falcon Wrath gets you over the top, so that's something to remember. Um, if your opponents are playing tons of little things like Mono White, Vampire's Vengeance, a great board wiper to keep in mind. Um, we also got Graveyard Trespasser here if they're leveraging something out of the graveyard um, or pulling things back. Um, as we move into more of that mid-range, we got Jun, we got Gruul, uh, Werewolves. We also get into some of the Dragons decks, Is it um, those kinds of things uh, in this space. And other mid-range stuff that you might hit, like Orzov um, and some Abzan stuff that I've seen once in a while too. Um, and then again, Mono Red Aggro in terms of Goblins is, is also a deck that you could hit. Um, we just did that one. Uh, here, again, you break it up with direct kill spells. Um, if you want to get powerful stuff out of their hands, you can always go go blank. Or if you need to get, again, other stuff out of their graveyard, um, go blank tied into our lovely Graveyard Trespasser works. Um, if they got other spells that you're more worried about, you can add in uh, Duress. Um, then we got the Turns decks, Epiphany decks. Is it Grixis? Uh, the works in that space. We got Dimmer Control as well. We got Azorus uh, Control um, in this space too. So here you're definitely going to want to go with the rest. You're going to want to go with the go blanks. Um, and those will be the key ones to take out your opponents. Um, and then let's see. Falcon Wrath Forebear is nice. Again, if they have um, ability to wipe your board, this is what you're going to want to throw in there um, from that perspective. So um, that, my friends, is how you're going to board against aggro midrange in late game. Again, focus on removing things like direct damage. Um, sometimes your stuff at the top end, depending on uh, late game, those kinds of things so you can go under um, can be a big one there for you as well. And this deck does typically run two Sorens. I threw in a Henrika there um, as an additional one, something that you could flip out kind of a thing. So um, with that, let's go play some competitive magic here. I'm looking forward to playing our vampire deck uh, that we have today. So 60% wins again from untapped, looking at at uh, exciting things here, standard best of one. Where is our vampire deck? We did run into this last time. We always forget to do this. Let's go to our decks. We will flip this to best of one first. This game's becoming so picky. Uh, limited. Oh, you dirty dog, you. Standard, there it is, okay, good. We'll go that way, we'll go back, and we'll go play our match, ranked standard best one, there it is. Let's go, my friends, we are off. Um, so again, aggro, fast matches, tribal. What more could you want? And Vampire is perfect for our Innistrad plane. All right. So no one drop. I will keep this though, because we got a lot of kill spells. We got this guy at four. Okay with that. We do have one if we need it. If they don't play anything, I'll play this first. And go from there. All right, friends. Let's go. Here we go. Now, they didn't play anything off the bat. Could have kept that up for the turn two um, to hit it. But I do want to get these guys down. So I will do this. So again, that's where we could have played the other land first, took a risk playing that. The better play would have been play this and again, couldn't drop that anyway. Um, maybe we could have drew into a swamp, made it work. 
here. We did not. Now we can get these guys on. Let's go for this one first. Now what would be nice is another swamp and play these two. We could also play this. Should be nice. Let's see what they decide. I would pull probably purveyor. Now, in this case, this is where you'd run your vampire wipe, board wipe. Um, and get all the mono white stuff off. There they go. They pulled purveyor. Oh, and we didn't hit. Whoa. It's too bad. See if they block. Nope. This one first. This one's good. So for three. Let me get that off the board. first now we got some decent stuff so we can still kill brutal Cathar when we need to Legendary. Oof. Um, hmm. Keep that up if we want. We can still drain for 2 2. That will flip if I don't play this. We can also kill that guy if we want. On the stack, we can play this guy. We can drain. Let's just do this.
Now we have lethal. So we swing in like this. And we can grab anything that we want. Let's grab that. Fun. And sack. Boom! Awesome. Absolutely drained it. Absolutely drained it with vampires very nice so again you can board in the wipe um keep all your vampires in there you can board in more direct kill spells um those kinds of things all right let's go for the next one great way to start all right uh no black we can keep this though because I got these two. Does hurt me without swap, but that's alright. See if they trade. This guy, not quite. that guy off. Need that land. There's the adversary. There we go. here.
Yeah, I kind of figured they might have that. What do we want? We can take one, right? There we go. Ah, we were good. They weren't coming back. So nice. Moving on up. All right. So I could play the two drop or the one. Um, it would have been fine either way. We would have pulled the two, played our flyer. Um, they weren't going to get lethal in anyway. All right. Third and final best of one here. Go for it. Stick her head. <clears throat> oh, every match we see him. We'll keep this sucks. We got two of these. Um, every match we seem to like have not hit the right mana makeup, which is fine. It happens. We'll get two of these guys going. It'll be fine. Red would be nice here. Uh oh. Oof. Well, we can pay the one. Is it good? not legendary either which is good turns probably counter on that guy Probably could have played that first in case they had the slip for one. Yeah, I should have played that first. Alright. Lots of fading hopes. No counter on that. You need a lot of burn to get that off. Haven't seen any of the turn stuff yet. 
Boom. Ah. Feels good today in best of one with Rakdos Vampires, my friends. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's go play some best of three and see if we can uh, keep the heat going. Bam. Standard best of three. Ah. Uh, we did it again. Let's go back to our deck. Flip this over. Traditional standard. There we go. We got our 15. We got our board. Let's play some magic now, my friends. Looking good. All right. Standard rank. Best of three. Grab the rocks. Those vampires. Yip, yip. Hooray. Here we go. So for those of you checking out here, we went 3-0, best of one, crushed it to two mono white aggros, and then a is it turns deck, essentially. Or a fading hope deck. One of the two. Mmm. Starosa. First time. We've actually hit our lands. Um, the mulligan. We'll keep this one. Dump that. Ooh, amount of black control. Probably. That hurts a lot. News is we got this guy now. So as long as they don't have a direct kill spell. Orzov. There it is. Now we're in trouble. Just shy of that one land. I'm hungry. Won't you stay for dinner? <laughs> A setback. Nothing more. A gift in exchange for loyalty. Want to get this cranking? Yeah. 
That's an interesting ply. take two off that we just need one more land then we can get our goblin going should have hit first on it but depending on what they do here if we get a land we could have lethal um no we will not there they go there they go we got stuck on the mana could have been a little bit different there. That's all right. Um, now that we know that they're playing some of that stuff. Uh, let's run some duresses here. Uh, go blank is nice. Graveyard Trespasser could be good. Let's grab this because it's three or under. Running vampires. We could wipe their board too. Let's drop this. Let's drop these pingers. Eternal Grasp. Want to keep stuff big. Go over the top. Let's grab these. Let's try that. We could go that, but let's run. Let's run this thing. We'll keep stuff out of their hand too. We'll play the same game. We'll play the same game. Move towards a little bit more control on this deck. Ooh. Make it work. Trade probably will. Just fine. Go. We can get a rad. That would be ideal. Not ideal.
want to get him down closer to who we can. Such power, but you are too weak. <laughs> you win this round. We will slay our enemies. Still sitting on go blank here. It could play Lolith again. Play the scorpion too. Would assume they have a kill spell still in their hand then. Yeah, there it is. Unfortunately, at this point, not much we can do. They got too much on the board. We don't have what we need to wipe them. So, it's a good game here. All I gotta do is pop a high buy. Ah! Mono black. Well, really, Orzov control getting us where they needed to. So the two for one, we didn't quite get what we needed to. Um, some of the land makeup, it happens on the curve and all that. But hey, you know what? Good run today in best of one. Not so good in best of three, uh, but it happens. It's magic. So um, can't win all the time, as I like to say. So let's go ahead and tackle today's deck. Again, this is a 60% plus win deck-ish, 60%-ish win deck. I shouldn't say plus. Um, in best of three, actually. Um, very, very nice. Obviously, control can be tough. We saw that um, there today, but overall, very happy um, with the results that's, that this deck did put up here, which is great. Um, so best of one, again, we crushed it with 3-0. Best of three, we lost that was up control list, going 0-2, unfortunately, um, but that's the way it works. So where's this sit in the meta? So um, in best of one, I would say this is probably in the middle of the pack um in terms of like a tier two ish uh list 
Um, and then as you get into best of three, uh, could be something similar, um, obviously a lot more competitive as well, but something to consider. So um, Rock Those Vampires is a very popular list. Glad to see it here. Um, still a part of what's going on in Crimson Vow and some of the pickups that we had um, like this one here. Uh, and then obviously good old Soren and Henrika and Blood blood purveyor so everything at the top end actually lots of great stuff here um in this list so very very fun nonetheless so planeswalkers thank you so much um hope you enjoyed today's episode if you got a question if you got a comment let me know down below hop in the discord server would love to see you there um in the uh details slash description there for you um along with the deck list flip me a like smash the subscribe love to see you some more um and again thank you to everyone for the additional support as always appreciate the youtube members and um the patrons i really do so um thanks everyone we'll see you again soon a lot more stuff coming your way on top decks friday night meta tier list um fast facts and a host of other things here um on the channel in the multiverse uh, we will see you again soon until next time planeswalkers mithras out